playing airplane. Welcome, dear passengers. Make sure your seat belts are fastened. We're about to take off. Hi there, Franny. So when are you taking off? Good morning and welcome, dear passengers. Please proceed to your seats. And now I would like you to listen to our safety rules. Franny, what are you talking about? We came here to hang around, drink tea, eat pastries. You will be offered a selection of drinks and snacks once we are in the air. Oh, I see what's going on. Franny's playing airplane. Yeah, that's my biggest dream. To become a real flight attendant on a real airplane. Airplane. You'll be the flight attendant, I'll be the pilot. And I'll be the dispatcher. Val will be refueling the plane. And Sammy and Sonia will be tourists. That's awesome! But... Uh-uh, no buts! Can get ready for the flight. Captain, sir, you are all set. The tank is full. Brilliant. The machine is ready. Welcome, dear passengers. You can now board the plane. Oh, wait a minute. I... well... I forgot the blankets. It might be cold in the cabin. I'll be right back. All passengers are in, requesting permission to take off. The sky is clear. Permission granted. Over. Wait a second. I forgot the pie. I can't let the passengers get hungry. Really, Franny? Go get it, but be quick. Dear passengers, make sure your seatbelts are fastened. We're about to take off. Hold on, Bucky. My flight cap. I think I might have left it at home. So where is she? Maybe we should just fly without her. Yeah, enough is enough. She can't keep us waiting like this. That seems fair. Hold on, hold on. We can't start the flight without Franny. It was her dream in the first place. Oh, right, it was. So what are we gonna do? First of all, we need to find Franny. <laughs> Franny, what's going on? Everybody's waiting for you. My friends, thank you so much, but I can't. I would really love to, but I'm scared of flying. Being a flight attendant is nothing but a dream, not meant to come true. Scared of flying? What a twist! You know what? I have an interesting idea. Here, help yourselves. I wish you a pleasant flight. Our plane is flying at an altitude of 10,000 meters above Earth. This is Captain Bucky. I wish you a nice and pleasant flight. Oh no, guys! I'm getting car sick! <laughs> uh, 
a real ninja. Good morning, Bjorn. Whoa! What's the deal with your leg? Trying to stick your toe in your ear or something? I'm practicing powerful Eastern martial arts. That is fancy. I want to become a real live grizzly belt. Someday, maybe I'll even become a ninja. The ninja were great legendary ancient warriors who, with one mighty blow, could break wooden boards in half. No way! I've always dreamed of becoming an ancient warrior. Forget wooden boards. Watch me split this whole tree with one mighty whack. Hiya! What are you doing, Bucky? Did you hurt yourself? Do I need to remind you about your limits again? I wanted to split this tree in two just like a ninja. Well, maybe this kind of tree just isn't ninja friendly. So that's it. What I need is the right kind of tree. Time to be an awesome ninja! Hmm. I'm not sure I could split this post with a single hit. It's clearly not ninja friendly, but I can teach it to be. Just gotta work up a lesson plan. No, not these. No junk. Even more no. There we go. <laughs> Feel friendly now? <laughs> Now that's more like it. Yeah! With my sweet chainsaw sword, I'll be the greatest ninja in the world. Vanquishing evil, slicing trees, the greatest ninja ever. He's Bukai! 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 Boo, 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 kai, 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 kai. An awesome ninja guy! For the first time ever, the amazingly awesome ancient ninja Bukai will be demonstrating all his super fine skills at the clearing in the woods. I'm just here for the popcorn. Yeah, me too. Welcome, friends, Franny, Bjorn, and other assorted admirers from around the world. I am the great ninja Bukai, zillionth level grizzly belt. I will now demonstrate my super amazing ninja skills. This should be interesting. Oh. Huh? Dude, that was amazing. You ain't seen nothing yet. Bucky, that tree trunk seems too big. Are you sure about this? Just relax. Bukai knows what he's doing. Ninja time! Should I just go ahead and call a doctor now? Hmm. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Bucky, what's happening? I might have gone a bit too far with my chainsaw sword. Technically, I did do all of this with just one kick. Hey, Ninja Bucky, look out! Bucky! Ugh. A true ninja knows when to run away! Whoa! I will now demonstrate my ninja escape the falling tree skills! <laughs> What have you done, Bucky? I wanted the trees to be ninja friendly, but they turned out to be ninja unfriendly. <laughs> uh oh, this looks like a good spot for an ambush. Uh, very bad. Uh, even worse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> she surprises and shocks as she knocks off blocks. Yeah, she totally rocks. She's a ninja fox! Franny! Franny! Franny the fox! Uh, Franny. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what just happened? You're... I'm a grizzly belt, but just third degree. Do you want lessons, guys? Ooh, ha, ooh, ha. Is that technique or what? Ooh, ha, ooh, ha. It's nice. We've got a real ninja teacher now. Hey, Franny, when will we be able to chop through bricks? It's Master Franny. He'll keep practicing. Yes, Master Franny. Vanquishing evil, slicing trees, the greatest ninja ever. She's Franny? That fierce little fox totally rocks. The Secrets of Magic.
magic. <laughs> Hey, Bucky. What you doing? I'm fixing my remind o -matic. Bucky, can I do some cool magic for you? That sounds fun. All right, now, just think of a number between 1 and 10, and I'll guess your number. Okay, thought of one. You're thinking of a number? Yes. I'm contacting the Mystical Magic Trichopedia. One, right? Nope. Right, that was just a test. It was two. Not even close. Hey, guys, what's happening? Then you must be thinking of the wrong number. It must be your trick that's wrong, not my number. My trick is fantastic. I can totally see inside your mind. It's called telepathy. Pretty fancy name, right? Do you happen to know what the date is today? It's the third. Ah, your number is three. Not three. Fellas, I mean, do you know what's happening today? Of course I know what will happen today. Up north, we are all taught to correctly predict the future. I will now look into the future. I see Bucky working with time. Time? You mean my remind o -matic? That's not magic. I just told you I was fixing it. Yes, but I saw it in the crystal ball, too. And now it says four is the number. You're just guessing every number. You mean you're not thinking of the number four? I'm not. Well, I must have heard the crystal ball wrong. And now, here comes the big grand finale. But I'm going to need time to get ready for it. You haven't even finished your first trick yet. He looks like an alien bird lamp. His hat looks like a deer's bottom. Welcome, friends. Now then, Bucky, please select an object. And I, while blindfolded, will magically guess which one you picked. I'm seeing, um, it looks like a coat hanger. Wait, no, not the hanger. Nah, it looks like a cooking pot. Wait, no, no, a boot. It's a boot, right? The object you picked was the boot. That's so awesome. That's just so awesome. Impossible. How is it done? How'd you do it? Telepathy, my friend. Nah, it's a trick. What am I holding now? I'm seeing, uh, the hanger? The hanger! Yorn, why is your skirt thing peeping? Well, I can assure you it isn't because Chicky's in it. Uh, How? You're busted. It wasn't smilepathy or whatever. Chicky was giving you the answer. Well, so what? They're not called magic tricks for nothing. You couldn't do any better. I could so. But guys, have you really not heard what's going to happen today? Well, duh. Today will be the big debut of the Great Bucktini. Abracadabra, Alakazam. Who's the best magician in the world? I am. You won't believe the spells I weave. And all with nothing up my sleeves. Actually, I don't even have sleeves. But that's not important right now. He is quick and he is clever. He's the best magician ever. He's Bakdini, and he's as talented as he is humble. Here's my first trick. magic -y words. Other magic -y words. You can cheer now. Awesome, awesome! Again, please! Whoa, how did you do that? Way cool! Show it to us again. Watch carefully. magic -y words. Other magic -y words. Other, other magic -y words. Other, other, other magic -y words. Uh, all the magic -y words in the world! Uh-huh. That wasn't really magic at all. All you did was trick us. Sound familiar? Hey, guys. Let me try. I bet that I could do a mega super magic show for you. Do you know any tricks? Go for it. Blow our minds. All right. Give me a few seconds to prepare. Watch this, magic boys, in three, two, and one. What's this? What's happening? Not loving this trick. Ah, how did you do that? Why did you do that? Bring back our sunlight. All right, it's back. You can calm down, boys. Didn't you know that we were going to have a solar eclipse? Have a what? Today was the day of the big, rare solar eclipse, where the moon passes in front of the sun and blocks it for a little while. I heard all about it on TV. Franny, that was by far the best trick. Behold, the great Seesaw Dini! Bucky, back there in your cabin, were you thinking of the number five? Nopey nope. Seven, then? I know it was seven. Nope, Rooney, not seven. Magic y words. The number was six. Chicky's Dino.
Venusaur. Go, 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 Clamo! Ha! All right! You're up, Bucky Bud! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on! No! Wrong! Stop! Wait! Please! Booey! I missed again! All right, all right, all right! Franny's turny, turny, turn! Yeah! No, back to the right! Yeah, no! Left, left, left! Yeah! Perfect! Your turn to bowl again, Bucky! Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not again, no! Bowie! Uh -huh. Unacceptable! Huh, where's Buck going? Hands up! Gah! Straight down the middle! What's that thing? Some rock I found makes for a great bowling ball. Just the size I need. I'm tired of missing those dumb pins. Bucky, that's not a rock. That's an egg. Whoa. That's a big old egg. I wonder who will hatch from it. Well, if no one sits on it, then it's not going to hatch. You have to take good care of an egg. Sit on it, you say? I have an excellent brain. <laughs> So, Chicky, just sit there a little while. How long are we talking? Five hours-ish. No longer. You look extraordinary up there, Chicky. You keep up the excellent work while we make a brief exit. Okay, Buck, enough with the puns. Bucky! Sorry. Whoa! Chicky, what's wrong? What's he saying? What's the problem? Chicky says outside there's a dinosaur or something. A dinosaur? <laughs> that actually sounds more like a pterodactyl than a dinosaur. They're not the same thing. That's a lot of sound effects. Yeah. Hey, fellas, come look. He burned Nat's chicky poo. Here's the plan. We're gonna catch him and whomp him. It's Operation Rescue. Quick, where's my fly swatter? No, we should ransom Chicky back with food. With some yummy prehistoric food. Preferably before it gobbles him up. Where's this dinosaur thing? What's it called? Harry Baxel? Monster, just show yourself. Please come and enjoy super delicious Jurassic snacks. It's all organic. Hey, guys, look. Huh? Up there. Unbelievable! Whoa! What? Our bird buddy is flying! Bjorn, what's going on? How is Chicky riding the very Waxel? I have no idea, but it sure looks like they've become buddies. Well, do you two suppose we could ride it? Woohoo! Yeehaw! Woohoo! Awesome! So cool! Fairy fractals rule! Larry Flagpole? Uh... No, Scary Tadpole. Not quite. <laughs> Cherry Blackbill. No, looks like it's time for our pterodactyl to fly away for a while. You have to fly back and see us all the time. Goodbye. Come back soon. Bucky, you never said where you found that egg, you know? In the woods, next to those other really giant eggs. Oh, let's all go sit on them. We can all hatch ourselves merry fractals. Oh, no, for the last time, it's Terry Daxel. The best place.
place in the world. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, hey there, Bjorn. This is gonna rock. <laughs> it's so cool. Excellent. Plug this in. Perfect. And complete! Bucky, let's go catch dragonflies in the field. Whoa, what is that thing? This is my teleporter. It can send us to any spot in the world. Oh, sweet. Where would you like to go? Outside, to the dragonfly field. What's there to see in a plain old field? How about instead, take us to the awesomest place on Earth? Ha, <laughs> care to guess? Well, we'll know soon enough. What are you fellas doing today? Boys, where are they? Bjorn, <laughs> 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 where are we? We're at the North Pole. And those are the Northern Lights. Whoa. Wowie, the most awesomest place I've ever been. <laughs> So, when sunrise, I want a bright, good look at everything. The sun will be coming out again in... Uh, looks like six months. You mean there's six months without sunshine? Not awesome. Let's try someplace else. So, take us somewhere with lots of sunshine. <sighs> Just like I said. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's so bright and warm. Now this is awesome! I want to do this for the rest of my life! Why did the camel cross the desert? Because it was Water, by any chance? None. There is no water out here in the desert. No water here? Not awesome. Yeah, let's get out of here. Go someplace with lots of water. Well, that's too much water. What's that, Bjorn? It looks kind of like a shark. A shark? Sharks aren't really my thing. Forget water. Take us someplace that's dry. Uh, Wrong! No! Someplace without a volcano! Huh. Bjorn? What is this? A sea monster! No! Take us someplace! Give me that! Just take us someplace! Do it! Bjorn, come on! Just someplace that we'll love! Where are we? Oh, this must be the awesomest place in the world! Yeah, and it looks a lot like our home. No way! This place looks nothing like home. Stuff's just all ordinary back there. But dude, everything here is just the awesomest. Huh? Just look at this amazing field! Boys! Huh? Where have you guys been? Is that Frammy? What is she doing here? Waiting for you. You guys kind of vanished. Weren't we planning to come to Dragonfly Field? Oh, oh, sweet Franny, hey. I am just so happy to see you. Bucky, look. We're home. I can see that now. I thought we had found the most awesomest place in the entire world. But we're in the awesomest place in the entire world. Don't you know yet that your home is the best place? Wow, that is a big one. Just wait. This one's mine. Hey, come here. <laughs> uh, come on, you crazy thing. I should use uh, my machine to transport you into my hand. Just 
just the right size. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice try. Almost. I'm telling you, the trolls are a trillion percent real. Sure they are. They're as big as mountains and terribly mean and ugly. Hey, Franny, why aren't you eating cherries? Don't you like them? I love them, but I can't reach them. All righty then. You know, this tree would barely come up to a troll's knees. You guys never change. You care more about trolls or whatever than me. Don't be silly. We care about you, Franny. Hey, trolls don't even exist, but you're completely real. Oh, Franny. I think I know what can be done to help you. Hey, we're gonna build Franny something. A fancy ladder just for her, so she can reach the cherries. Awesome plan! <laughs> My workshop is out of bounds for little kids. Hey, why don't you go swing or something? We'll be right back. Bjorn, close the curtains. This is gonna be awesome! No little kids. That's all I ever hear. I'm sick of being little. Flying through the sky like a furry butterfly. She's so cool, I'll tell you why. She's Franny the Cool Big Fox! I am! <laughs> are okay, but this will be way cool. Phew. Well, it's done. The larger charger. Hey, where's Fran? The trolls ate her. Uh, she's probably picking flowers somewhere. Or trying to pick cherries. Let's go find her. New invention? Larger charger, huh? I wonder if it'll make me bigger. Could Franny have possibly gone? That girl's always so much trouble. It's a troll! Not a troll. It's Franny, guys. Franny, guys? You're in there somewhere. Eeny, meeny, miny, yo! <laughs> this is getting silly. Come here! <laughs> Look, it's Franny. There. So you used the larger charger without even asking first. I just wanted to be big enough so you guys would have to notice me. Well, you're certainly hard to miss like this. <laughs> Don't be upset, Franny. <laughs> we'll think of a way to help. I don't Whoa. want to be a troll. <gasps> Just stop crying. You're acting like a big baby. I can't help it. <laughs> I want to be little like I was before. I don't want to be big. <laughs> I don't want to be a whale fox. Franny. Huh? We made something so you won't be too small anymore. Bucky, it's time. Get Franny's big surprise, please. Oh, please, just not the larger charger. I've never heard of that, but this is yours. To get at high branches, the Super Climatron. You made me a ladder of my very own? A ladder? This is no ordinary ladder. It's a Super Climatron with an advanced platform system and dual bear transport action. So, Franny... You can pick all the yummy cherries that you'd like now. Come try it out. <laughs> yeah! Climatronic, baby! Oh, I'm telling you, the trolls are absolutely for real. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure they are. I suppose the trolls can just rip trees right from the ground, too. Yeah, of course. Mm. Wow. Silly bears, I just adore you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
a northern expedition. This is the life. Nice day we're having. The nicest. It's so hot. Oh, my. A great day, right? So very great. Oh, so hot. Perfect day. The best. Huh? Too hot. Bjorn, what's with you? Of course it's hot. It's summer. But in the north, it's cold. The whole year round. Nice and cool. Snow and icebergs everywhere. So, hey, maybe you should take a trip up north then. Awesome idea! A northern expedition! But it's a long way away. I'd have to prepare and stuff. We'll get you prepared and stuff. Trust me, I'm an expert at everything. <laughs> You know, Bjorn, the north has gotten way norther. It's colder and bleaker and more dangerous here. You'll need warm clothes, good skis, hearty provisions, and, I don't know, snow screen cream? The north doesn't mess around, my friend. I'm okay. Bucky, I'm not sure about this trip. I've got your back, Bjorn. You won't go anywhere until I've trained you. Just wait. Hang on. Be right with you. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Nearly there now. <laughs> I hope you're excited, because this is going to be super duper kaplowy wowie. Everybody, it's my pleasure to present to you at this time the one-of-a-kind Northern Expedition Simulator Training Course! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much! Thank you! Whoa! Uh, I'm not so sure about all this, Bucky. Come on, you'll be fine! Let's go! It can strike at any moment. The whipping wind, the blinding snow, that elemental juggernaut, a northern blizzard! Feel the frigid, frozen fury! Ha-ha! <laughs> Feathers in your face! Try to keep your footing on those slick, slippery slivers scattered on the sea, northern icebergs! Hey, what are these, Buck? Sure, but the North can be unpredictable. You never know what the North's gonna throw at you next. Dangling tree trunks of icy doom? It could happen. And don't forget the thrilling, deadly majesty of the North's countless snow-covered mountains! Where gravity, physics, and geometry conspire to take you on a pulse-pounding ride that will scare your downy white fur off! Oh, uh, help? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bucky? I'm not certain that I want uh, to go on this expedition up north. Sure you do. Don't worry. Thanks to me, you're now completely prepared for your northern expedition. Well, gosh. Guess I'll go? Great. Safe travels. Stay warm. Take lots of pictures. Um, so goodbye, I guess. Yep. Send us a postcard. You could maybe just stay, Bjorn. Is that really an option? Of course, pal! What does the North have to offer that we don't have right here? Icebergs, snow mountains, penguins, frostbite? We got all that stuff! Actually, why would you want to leave at all? I never really wanted to go at all. Yay! Bjorn's going to stay! <laughs> now you have your own North that you can share with friends! Complete with your very own yellow penguin! <laughs> Bucky, you do know penguins only live in the south. <laughs> no penguins? That's kind of a rip-off! Wait, if you don't have penguins, what do you have? Absolutely no penguin droppings. Ha! <laughs> now that is a plus. Dragon, Dragon hero.
heroes! Once upon a time, in a forest far, far away, two brave warriors set out to rescue a princess from the clutches of a terrible dragon. They were called Sir Buxalot, the Bravish, and Bjorndolf, the Great Wizard. And this is their tale. Not their actual tale, their story. Aha! These are fresh dragon tracks. Good thing I'm so bravish. Ah! The beautiful princess lived in the very heart of the forest in a cold, lonely tower, which the dragon guarded day and night. called the princess with all her might, and our heroes knew they must act. I'll construct an attack tower. You sneak around the back and magic up some rain. Nah. Let's dig a pit to trap the dragon, and then we can lure him into it. There isn't time for that. We must act at once. They agreed with a lofty quintet. <laughs> well, this and that and that shall fit together and make a super advanced catapult to automatic <laughs> Meanwhile, elsewhere in the forest... Huh? Rain, rainy, rain, rain... Stop being such a pain and just rain! Pears? friend. Maybe it's allergic to seafood. It wasn't. The princess had no idea what her rescuers thought they were doing. Wise Bjorndolf, magically transform this stick into a spear! Uh-huh. I hear ya. Right. Random stickus other thingus! Uh... Yeah, that'll do. Huh? Huh? Ah. Whoa! Oh! 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 By all my knightly honor, run away! And the bravish knight and wise wizard embarrass themselves again. So, where'd this pit come from? Uh, I dug it. But it's not a pit, it's supposed to be a dragon trap. Great, now the dragon's going to eat us. And then, something unexpected. But, but... What are you doing? You're not eating us? Do we look like we taste that bad? I'm just so happy that my dragon saved you guys. The princess? We thought it was you that needed saving. You were crying out for help, right? Yes, I do want your help. Poor dragon here has stepped on an ouchie burr. And I can't get it out. It would be an enormous honor to come to your assistance, fair princess. Wise Bjorndolf, a little help? <laughs> and then they held a whopping dandy party. And that is the very end of the story. Yes! Let's go and play knights. I will be Sir Buxalot the Bravish. And I'll be the great and wise wizard Bjorndolf. Except my tricks will work. Well then, I will be the princess. You should be the dragon. If I'm the dragon, I'll be barbecuing some knights. Fine. Then you can be the princess in the tower. Let's go. Adventure is waiting for us. I hope that adventure brought some snacks. A 
trip to the stars. or something. But Buck, space is a long way up. How will we get the star back up there? Duh! We'll build a spaceship. Rockets are easy McPeasy to build. Excuse me. Pardon me. Big fat genius coming through. Friends, I give you the great super McDooperific rocket jetomatic R Infinity Space Wagon. Applause would be appropriate. Hmm. Uh, don't rockets generally fly kind of up? Huh? Ah, uh, right. That's more like it. So that's our rocket. We've just got to build it now. Let's get to it. <laughs> we can do this. It's not rocket science. Oh, except it is. <laughs> hey guys, by any chance, have you seen... Oh, Franny! Hi there! Do you like our rocket? Hey, Franny! It's big! Uh, where's the door? Uh, uh coming right up! Ha <sighs> <sighs> ha! We should return the star before sunset. Well, in that case, I guess we better hurry. Start the countdown! Five, four, three, two, one and three quarters! None and a half! Now! now! I probably should have gone to the toilet first. Did we do it? We actually did it! We're space bears! Bum, 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 bum. It's so awesome. So that's what space looks like. I thought it would be taller. <sighs> so should we put the star back now? I said the star, not Chicky, dude. My bad. I mixed the levers up. This is so cool! Starlight, star bright, we hope this sets things right. Now it's time to head home. Take care of yourself, beautiful little star. Make a wish. Yeah, this has been a wonderful day. What a terrible day. What? Franny, what's wrong? It's just that I lost an earring somewhere in the forest and I haven't been able to find it. What did it look like? We'll help you find it right now. It's just like this one, oh. shiny and star-shaped. Oh my, I think that your star earring is one of those up there. Uh, yeah? Where? In the sky. We just took it up there in our rocket. Guess now there's an earring constellation. Well, I guess it's cool that it will be shining in the night sky now. We should hang this one in space too. Tomorrow we'll fly up together and put it next to the other one. It'll be awesome. Hi, 
Secret story. Lay in a course for home, roared the pirate captain, and a skull and crossbones flag rose atop the main mast. Mm. The end. Yeah! Wow, that's so great! Oh, I want to be a pirate! Me too! I'll be the pirate captain, and you can be my crew! Why do you get to be captain? I would be a cool pirate captain! Ha! You, Bjorn! You're not cut out to be a pirate captain! I'd be an awesome captain! No, I'm the captain! No, I'm captain! You scurvy bear! Boys, boys! Come on, don't fight! Look, I baked a nice pie! Who wants some? Granny, can you not see we're in the middle of an important discussion? Look here, Bjorn, I'm the pirate captain, and that is final! All right, captain your ship! I'll just have a ship of my own! Boys... Chicky ahoy! Sweet! Awesome! Yeah, I am totally a pirate captain! The king of the seven seas! Who's there? Arr! Shiver me timbers! Raise the mizzen mast! Full speed ahead! Arr! Huh. Huh? Huh? Hmm. What is this bottle doing here? Bottle eye? Where'd you come from? There's something inside! Ooh, a treasure map! Blimey, a treasure map! Well, well blow me down. down! A circle of grass! Yo-ho! A pine tree without branches! A rock! Yar! Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Bucky Yai! That's Captain Buckbeard to you! Oh, is that so? Well, I'm Captain Longbjorn Silver! I have both a parrot and a treasure map to prove it! No, I'm the captain! My map is way better than that lame map that you have, fake captain! Oh, we'll just see about that! I'll find my treasure before you find your dumb treasure! I know, I'll find mine before you! There's no way he'll find the treasure first! Without my new treasure seatoscope, all right? Find some treasure! Ahoy! Treasure! Yeah! Wait, what? Curses it be a rock! Ahoy! Nah, just an acorn! Booty ahoy! Ah, blast! It's only a mushroom! Well, Chicky, according to the treasure map, what we're trying to find should be nearby. Go look around! Find the treasure, Chicky! Find it! Have you got it? Did you find it? No, Chicky, that's a strawberry! Keep searching! Not quite! That's a raspberry! Try again, please! <laughs> Those are pine cones, Chicky! Hmm. Whoa! You are a treasure seagoscope, not a random wrong stuff seagoscope! Find treasure! You scallywag! <laughs> oh, sorry! I didn't mean it! Well, did you have any luck? None, did you? No, sir. The problem is that this stupid map is useless. That's right. Yours and mine both are. I've searched near every tree and found nothing. Hey, wait a second. Take a look, Bjorn. Bucky, are these two halves of one bigger map? Huh. So we were looking near the wrong trees. why they call us pirates. <laughs> Good one, Buck. Hey, guys! <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, Franny? I... Hang on. Just listen to this, Franny. We just found a genuine pirate treasure pie! I made that pie. I wanted to play pirates with you guys, but you were ignoring me. So I'm the one who drew the treasure map, just like I'm the one who baked the pie! Arr! That's awesome, Franny! This turned out to be the tastiest pirate story ever! Isn't that right, Longbjorn Silver? Yep, you're absolutely correct about that, my dear Captain Buckbeard! What ha! happened to our pie? Huh? huh? Bring that back, you rapscallion! <laughs> Home straight!
stretch. This is awesome. <laughs> We should totally make our own racing cars, am I right? Yeah! And he's off. I'm building the super fastest car with super strength and super muscle. Zoom across the finish line. Engine, gas, super turbo, vroom! <laughs> Hit the brakes! <laughs> what? We don't want a plain, regular smoggy car with oil drips and all that exhaust. We huh? should build a whole new kind of car. One that runs on pure, clean fuel. Like the wind, for instance. And we could just float like clouds. What? Cars should be as fast as lightning. Engine, gas, super turbo. We need to build a proper racing car. But my wind car would be pretty quick. Let's make my wind-powered race car. Listen, guys. Why don't we just make both of them? And then we can race the cars against each other. What do you think? Should we race? Totally. Yeah! The racers pull up to the starting line. On the right, you will see in the red helmet, Thunder Bucky in his sweet super ride, the SKT 4 million trillion gajillion! The fastest, most powerful race car in the universe! Ha! <laughs> and on the left, you'll see in the blue helmet, Bjorn Free in his clean and lightweight and eco-friendly new vehicle, the Speedy Cloud. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ready, get set, race! Eat my dust, wind boy! What you doing? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> I'm riding the wind, like the wind. Broom, 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 broom! So whoosh! I guess, maybe. Vroom! Vroom, broom, screech! Yeah! I've gotta be the fastest bear in the world! Vroom! Turn, screech! Yeah! Oh! Out of the way, tree! Ouchie! Are you all right? Well, I think I'm all right. Just had a bit of a hiccup with my awesome race car. Whereas my eco-friendly wind machine is absolutely immune to the hiccups. Oh. Oh, uh, I think the wind stopped. <sighs> I could use some eco help here. My goodness, nobody even made it across the finish line, guys. Well, if there's no wind, there's no eco speed. It just needs some wind. All right, then. Bucky, what do you have? A fan. It blows air in one direction. Just like, oh, maybe the wind. And who might need some wind? Do I need to spell it out? Franny's right. Let's work together to make wind. But of course, Fran, you're a genius. <laughs> I can't wait to see the speedy cloud four gajillion trillion million in action. <laughs> Steer to the left! Aye aye, Captain! Woohoo! Yay! It's awesome! Yeah! Taking walks and playing games when there's sunny weather. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. Friends together! Inventing super mega awesome one of a kind race cars together. Everything together. A kite 
in the tree. I think it's the highest a kite's ever flown, ever. Gosh, it's pretty. Uh, can I have a turn? Of course. Just be sure you hold it real tight. Yeah, sure. Why is it falling? The wind died down. Look out for that tree! Well, that's that. Not on my watch. I'll get it down. <laughs> ha -ha! <laughs> oh, Bucky? You might want to back up. Ha ha! The bear! Touch the sky! Nope. That was the sky's fault. <laughs> Listen, you have to take your time. Climb slow and steady. Plan each step. This time I'll get it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I don't! This time I'll definitely get it! I'll get it! I'll get it! I'll get it! I'll get it! Come right. on! Getting there! Oh no, you don't! There! Hey guys, why don't we just leave that one there and make a new one? No way! Our kite doesn't belong to this tree! Look! Bjorn's almost got it already! Hey, Bjorn! Oh, no Look kite at ever gets left behind! Ugh. I didn't get it down. All right, we need better equipment. Tree meat ladder. I'm going up to get our kite back. Uh, maybe hold the ladder. Uh, Bjorn, I can't quite reach it. I need backup. Get up here. Uh-huh. I can almost reach it. Uh, Franny, come up here. We're so close. Just a teeny bit more. One strand of tail fur. Just be sure that you hold the ladder steady. Don't let go. Hey, Bucky. I was just wondering, if all of us are up here, then who's... I think that I know what our best plan is now. We just build a new kite? What? No. Now we make a tornado with our lungs. Blow as hard as you can. <gasps> Come on! Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you got to be kidding me! Um. All right, guys, maybe we should stop. You're right. Throwing sticks is not smart because we might hurt the kite. But I've got the answer. Friends, I give you the brand newest incredible awesome invention. It's the poultry bolt. Hop in, bud. It's super simple to operate. All you do is pull the lever. Good test. This time we just aim a little better and try again. And again. <laughs> and again. So we might have exceeded operational capacity. What? The poultry poult is kaput. You guys, hey, why don't we make an even better kite instead? Hey, that sounds like a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Franny, you're a genius. It's so pretty. Can I have a turn? Of course, here it is. Just try not to let the wind do huh? that oh. again. Oh, no. Oh. I don't like that tree. So, we just build a new one, right? You kidding? I can get it down. Ha-ha! <laughs> Here we go again. 
the weather forecast. Bucky's limber, Bucky's spry. This bear is on fire. Now let the badminton tournament begin. I'm ready to win big. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm ready to win bigger. Game on, guys! Slam! Pow! Yeah! <laughs> Shuttlecock retrieval! Uh. 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 Oh. Wow! Shuttlecock retrieval! What are you on break? It's all over. It's a tie. It's a tie? I want to win. We have to keep going. Let's do it then. Bucky's pumped. Bucky's spry. This bear is... Wet? Run! Save yourselves! Oh. Hurry! You ever see a wet bear? Oh. We look ridiculous! Oh. <laughs> oh, my fur is gonna be frizzy for a week. Dumb old thunderstorm. It spoiled our fun afternoon. If only we'd known in advance that all this rain was coming, then we could have planned the tournament for a different time instead. Hey, we could do that. There's a way to predict future weather. Let's go outside and I'll show you. Well, we're outside. Show us how to predict the weather. We need to observe the birds. If they're flying close to the ground, rain might be coming. And if they're flying way up high, we're in for sunny weather. But where are the birds? There are none around. Then we just have to wait. Birds are for the birds. What I'm gonna do is build a mechanical weather predictor. Franny, Chicky, let's get going. Hmm. Yes. See the saw. See the saw saw. Ah, oh, that is looking sweet. <laughs> Presenting my new awesome invention. The truly brilliant Rainomatic Brainomatic! Ta-da! It's all very simple. I put my avian macro chip right in the basket, which the balloon then skyifies. At the first sign of rain, the avian macro chip relays a signal to those on the ground. And that's that. Any questions? Good. Where's my macro chip? Ah! Excellent. See any weather, just be sure to let us know down here. Good macro chip. <laughs> Finally, there's a bird. Flying high. All right, that means rain's not coming. I need to go tell the guys. Yay! <laughs> uh, Chicky Chip, you're back! And you're all wet! Which must mean rain! Uh, it'll be here soon! We need to tell Bjorn! Bucky! Sunny weather's coming! Hey, Bjorn! Here comes rain! Uh, we're uh, gonna have sunshine! Uh, no, we're not, Bjorn. Here comes rain! No, here comes <gasps> sunshine! No, rain! <laughs> hey, look, you guys, it's snowing! Hmm? Mm. Hmm. Does look like snow, which means that we won't be playing any more games. Sigh. I guess I should have built a snow matic Oh, heck, no matic so, Bjorn, have you got some skis by any chance? Of course! Skis! Yeah. yeah! We can have a tournament of winter badminton! Uh-huh. This was a really cool idea. <laughs> <laughs> Game on, guys! Here comes my super serve! Kablamo! Boom! Crap Ha! Uh. Yay! Kapow! Ha! <laughs> Shuttlecock retrieval. Hey, is that a rain cloud? 